Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with Amazon RDS. Our viewer is trying to import a large SQL file, but is met with an error message that reads, access denied. You need at least one of the super privileges for this operation. Let's break down the situation and find out how to resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The error message indicates that you need the super privilege to perform the operation. This is common when importing SQL files that contain certain commands, like triggers or stored procedures. In your SQL file, there's a trigger defined with a specific user as the definer. Since this user does not exist in your RDS instance, it can cause issues during the import. To resolve this, you can either create the user or modify the SQL file to change the definer to a user that exists in your RDS instance. Let's see how to change the definer. After modifying the SQL file, try importing it again using the same command. If you still encounter issues, consider checking the privileges of the user you are using to connect to the RDS. If the problem persists, you may need to adjust the SQL file further or consult the AWS documentation for additional guidance on RDS privileges and limitations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you encounter an access denied error due to the super privilege requirement, it may be caused by the definer statement in your SQL dump file. A simple solution is to remove these entries and import the data through the GCP console. you can clean your dump file using a command that removes the definer lines. This creates a new dump file without those entries. If you're using AWS RDS and your dump file is large, check the first 30 lines to identify problematic lines. You can then remove specific lines using another command. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the access denied issue when importing a database, first export your database in sql.gz format. Then remove the definer and import it using a specific command. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the access denied issue, ensure you are using the same username for both the old and new backups during restoration. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the access denied issue, the user commented out all lines starting with set in the SQL file, and this solution worked.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When restoring a database dump on AWS MySQL RDS, the user encountered an access denied error requiring super privileges. Instead of changing the definer or commenting out lines, they granted specific privileges to their user. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Yeah.